In this video we would like to give you a short walkthrough of what you can do with this new external for Max MSP for time stretching and pitch shifting. If we turn on the audio, you will start hearing a trim loop that's located in this buffer. Here you can drop your own audio file to test it out with a different sound. What we can do now is change the pitch and the speed independently from each other. You can make subtle changes or change the sound drastically. This introduces no extra latency. You can trigger it directly without delay. Alternatively, you could use the set pass method to go smoothly to another position. It's also possible to take the speed all the way down to zero, which effectively stops the sound. And you can even play backwards. Now let's set the speed zero and look into the more detailed grain settings. You can change the grain size to get a totally different character. The fade factor changes the overlap between the grains. A higher fade factor sounds smoother. By setting the speed to zero and using really low grain sizes, you can use this external as a wavetable oscillator. The fade factor then acts like a filter, and the pitch can drastically change the character of the sound. If we change the playback position, we get a different wavetable and a totally different sound. Ok, let's get back to a more normal playback situation. If you want, you can introduce random pitch and position variations. This makes the sound more uneven. You can also change the stereo image by introducing random panning variations. These parameters get more interesting if we start using more grains. Normally the external uses 2 grains, but you can go up to 16 grains. But you should note that the CPU load goes up as well then. Now let's hear how this sounds. You can fade these extra grains in smoothly. If we now set the speed to zero, we have a so-called grain cloud.
With these settings you can make really interesting soundscapes. Okay, let's look at another way of using this external. You can also use it in streaming mode. This means that it can process an audio stream in real time. For example, you can use real time effects on a microphone input. In this example, we use a groove object to play an audio file. That's the only thing you hear right now, the dry signal. If you now listen to the wet signal, you hear the same thing. But now we can change the pitch. So it's a real time pitch shift with no extra latency added. We can verify this by adding the dry signal to it. A lot of the other parameters I previously showed you in this video are also available in streaming mode. So you can also use it as a kind of chorus, distortion, or a stereo banner. Be creative. You can use this external in mono and stereo. This is as easy as typing a 1 and 2 into the object box. I think that this is enough for one video. It's also interesting to look at the beating prevention parameter and the natural stretching sub -patcher. but you have to do that yourself. Well, simply try it all out, and I'm curious what you will make with it.